Today, as we're looking towards the parasha of Bechukosai, we're in a small forest area right outside of Shalavim, no fai alone. And we have behind us a group of oren trees, atse oren, pine trees. According to the famous botanist, Professor Felix, anytime in Tanakh or in Chazal that we find the eight shemen, he says it's referring to the tree that we call today the eight oren. Now, the eight oren is a non-fruit bearing tree or Ilan Srak, and that is a point of connection to our parsha. At the beginning of the parsha, we're told, Im telechu, if we live our lives according to the ways of the Torah, we receive many brachot, amongst them, yiten piryo. the trees of the field will give you their fruits. Rashi there brings the sifra that takes us to the future. Uminayin sha'af ilane srak atidin lasot perot. How do we know that in the future, even ilane srak, non fruit bearing trees, will produce f- fruits. Shanamar the Pasuk in our parsha, the eights hasada yitain piryo. This is very similar to the Gemara at the end of Ksubas, the last Gemara. Anybody who's been at a seum of Masech Ketubot knows the Gemara that tells us, Amar Rav Chiyo Bar Ashi Amar Rav. The Gemara says that Atidin ilanei srak shebe'eret Yisrael sheyit'anu peirot. The Gemara says that in the future, even the ilanei srak of Eretz Yisrael will carry, will bear fruits. The slight difference between them, the Gemara Ketubot is talking specifically about Eretz Yisrael. Also, a slight difference is it's Sheyit Anu Perot, the Gemara Ketubot says, as opposed to the Sifra that says La'asot Perot. Maybe that's referring to the extra Siyata Deshmaya here in Eretz Yisrael. It will bear fruit more easily with that Hashkacha Pratit, that extra presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that we feel here in Eretz Yisrael. And Be'ezat Hashem, we should feel the full presence of the Shekhinah with the rebuilding of the Beis HaMikdash, Bekar of the Yameinu. Have a wonderful Shabbos.